patient, efficient to produce a comprehensive victory. And look at the purpose with which she's marching towards the boxing ring. Final shot of water. You can see that she's worked up a sweat backstage. She is ready to go, just waiting to step into the ring to get that head guard fitted. And she searching for championship gold here. Comes in with a glittering resume, does Shiguyeva. 2017 World Youth Silver Medalist at 69 kilograms. And in 2019, she's the European Under-22 Bronze Medalist. 2017 European Youth Bronze as well. And her opponents are giving us a bit of a footwork show. Just showcasing the talent that she's no doubt going to demonstrate in the boxing ring. Because Stephanie Von Berger, the tournament number two seed, is simply sensational. She was outstanding in her semi-final win to beat Luka Hamori of Hungary, winning the contest by abandonment. Some compassionate corner work shown by the coaches of the Hungarian boxer because this woman's straight punching completely closed her eye. It was a significant injury that was growing worse by the second. And Von Berger, she too, highly decorated on the continental stage. 2019 European Youth Championship silver medalist at 64 kilograms. The year before that, she took a European Youth bronze at 60 kilograms. So continuing to consolidate as she grows and matures as an athlete, the 20-year-old. And I cannot wait for this contest to get underway because it features two boxers, as their credentials suggest, who are very accomplished indeed, and they go about their work in decidedly different manners. So to the center of the boxing ring, Von Berger, who is very tall at the 64 kilogram light welterweight division limit, and looks to use those attributes of height and length and reach to produce some outstanding straight punching. But in her opponent, Natalia Zichugova, she possesses, she's facing a woman whose footwork is amazing and her ring generalship outstanding too. So we're underway then. 64 kilogram light welterweight action in the gold medal bout between boxers from Russia and Germany. The woman wearing red is Natalia Zichugova. One of the 10 Russian finalists in action here in Rosetto. Her opponent, Stephanie Von Berger, the tournament number two seed, the taller figure wearing blue, immediately looking to establish that stick as she whips through a right hand that came from nowhere. Not running, she's invariably on the back foot, but she uses angles, sticking and moving. And the task for Sechugova is quite simple. She's got to try and find a way to negate that reach because if she get past the lead left, the right uppercut is waiting to be uncoiled just as it was there. Good right hand shot through once again by bon Ver Von Berger. Good right jab to the body from Sechugova and that's intelligent boxing because when you're faced with a fleet-footed individual like this, one surefire way to slow them down is to make an early investment in body shots. And that's exactly what Sechugova did on that blind side, sinking the right hand into the long, lean torso of her opponent in blue. Beautiful lead left jab once again from Von Berger, straightening it out and just snaking it between the gloves of her opponent. So Sechugova remaining patient, but again, look at what she's got to deal with. She's got to try and find a way past that long left stick. She did so cleverly there after making Von Berger miss. She came over the top with a tapping southpaw right. So tucking up behind high-held gloves, looking for the straight left to the body, but couldn't find a range. Von Berger hasn't stopped moving as she tried for a flashy straight right hand to the body, but that was long, sliding off the side of her opponent. So two minutes gone in the opening round. And plenty of skill in evidence between these two boxers as Tichugova tucks up tightly between her gloves and forearms once again, fainting with the feet, trying to draw that lead that she can counter as she goes for a lead southpaw right once again. She went for a right-left combination, but the left hand was long and went over the shoulder of her opponent. Untidy tangle on the inside, and there you suspect that Tichugova is more ideally suited to that type of work, but she couldn't really capitalise. 
Beautiful le left right from Von Berger. Southpaw left came back from Sachugova. And there's a right left to the body of the woman in blue from the Russian boxer wearing red. Cleverly picked left hand, turning the palm up towards the ring lights from Von Berger. Just a few moments ago. And again, using those hands in semaphore fashion is Von Berger and then just engaging reverse gear to maintain the gap, keep that distance between her and a more compact opponent. But how about that for use of the feet as Sachugova closed the distance and scored with a three shots combination out of that southpaw stance. There's a left hand over the top and she's having more success in the closing 10 seconds or so, just getting through with a couple of solid shots as she managed to close the gap and score without reply. Very good round of boxing. I happen to think Von Berger, the woman in blue, got the better of it. But make no mistake, particularly as the round went on, I thought the woman in red got into it. How did you see the first three minutes, Andy? I thought it was a round four, the number two seed in blue. I would agree with that, but I think Satuga, as you say, did get into it as the round progressed, but she, she landed some decent, solid shots throughout the course of that three minutes, really. What she's struggling to cope with is the movement of Von Berger. It sounds like an obvious thing to say, but she's got that height, she's got that length, and she can, even though she's on the outside, she can land when she seems to be too far away. I think that's the, she's got these kind of telescopic arms is basically what I'm saying. And even though you know she can reach, you think, oh, actually, okay, she's too far away here. And then all of a sudden she isn't. Well, Judge 2 scoring it 10-8 for Von Berger. So into the second round then, the tournament number two seed Stephanie Von Berger taking it on a 4-1 split. Only Judge 1 preferring the work of the southpaw wearing red. But there's a good southpaw left to begin the stands up from Sechugova. Scores with a good right left, the right hand down to the body and then the left hand up to the sternum from Sechuga. Who's quickening her feet now and looking to close the gap with more intent. Good right hand through the middle from Von Berger and she's picked off getting the worst of that exchange as the two boxers engaged in a trade-off. So Von Berger shaping, shifting, fainting once again. Clever little southpaw right got around the corner from Sechugova, who's done a terrific job finding a range. But how about that for a flashy loose-limbed right uppercut and then a left hook from Von Berger, who's looking to increase the distance between them once again, where she can score with those long, crisp, straight punches. But it's been a very good opening minute of this second round for Sechugova. We've done a terrific job using angles, getting her front foot outside that of her opponent and cutting off the potential escape route in that direction to score with her own shots. Just roughing up her opponent on the inside, applying the arm bar as the two boxers tested the strength of one another at close quarters. So approaching the midpoint of the second round, Von Berger looking to re-establish that left jab. There's a right hand which got through the middle. It landed with the elbow bent but it was delivered from practically the other side of the ring. Same shot once again from Von Berger. As a right jab comes through and then a left cross from Sechugova. But when Von Berger is up on her toes and able to move laterally left and right as she takes another southpaw left while trying to disengage, this is very clever from Sechugova. Nice head movement from Von Berger to make the woman in red miss with a lead right jab. But in this type of posture, when she's busy with her hands, up on her toes, bobbing, weaving, dipping at the knees. Von Berger, very difficult to pin cleanly, but Sechugov has made a wonderful adjustment in this second round and taken a lot of that play away from her, particularly in the opening minute. Left, right hand not too far away from Von Berger on that attempted single. Here she is looking to bamboozle her opponent with that hand movement once again and walks her onto a good right hand as Sechugov looked to fire a southpaw right hook. Closing 30 seconds of the second round. It's been a better second round for my money for Sechugova. But Von Berger still able to produce successes such as that right hand from distance. More physicality on the inside from Sechugova and she's not looking to work away. Just put the palm of her glove into the head of her opponent. Hitting on the break from Von Berger. Oh my goodness. Well, that is... There it is. Well, this has turned the second round and thereby the contest on its head. It was a very good second round. I happen to think 
Von Berger did enough to shade it. Sechugova did very well, but in the closing seconds, well, we had a point deduction. Now, Sechugova, if, well, whoever's won the round can score no more than nine. Ten-point must system there are the cards. Von Berger's taken it. 10-8 for Judge 2 again, but when you take the point deduction into effect, that is 9-9 nine, nine for Judges 1, 3, 4, and 5. Well, she's got it all to do now, basically, to Chugavu, and I would have had her myself maybe in with a shout in that second round. I thought she might have just shaded it, Chugavu, but Von Berger, I thought, probably just took it away from her right at the very end. She landed a couple of good punches, a, a really nice short left hand on the inside, and then had that point taken away. It's not really going to hurt her too much by the look of it, but there's got three, there's three cards of 19 points to 18 there. They can all get turned around. So everything to box for in the final three minutes of this 64 kilogram light welterweight final. And it's been a very good start by Sechugova who clipped her opponent with shots from both flanks at the start of this second round. As Andy illustrated, we have got three scorecards of 18-19 in favor of Von Berger. So a strong set final round here could take us to the realm of countback. And of course, both boxers will be keen to not pick up any deductions in this final three minutes. The supporters of both boxers making a terrific atmosphere here at the Pala Maghetti. Good work to the body on the inside from Sechugova. And that's where she's more ideally suited in terms of work, given the statures of the two boxers. Good left hand landed by Sechugova. It was set up with the right jab. The right jab was off the mark, but it... Lined things up terrifically for the southpaw left. Check right hand not too far away from Von Berger, who looked to land it and then spin off. There she fires a straight one in conventional fashion. Same shot once again, but it's a southpaw right of Sechugova that got through. And then the boxers traded right hands. Right jab from Sechugova, right cross from Von Berger. So more grappling at close range. Right hand not too far away from Von Berger as the two boxers looking to exchange during that coming together. At the midpoint of the third and final round of a gold medal bout that is in the balance coming into this one. Beautifully picked right hand once again. And she's got that loose-limbed, free-flowing style has Von Berger where she almost seems to accentuate her successes. There she's caught by a clipping southpaw right by Sechugova. Sechugova remaining concentrated and in the pocket. Tries for a lead right hook out of that southpaw stance, but couldn't find the range. Final minute of the gold medal bout. Sechugova presenting a study in contrast with the evanescence and dynamism of the woman in blue. Good defense from Sechugova to block the right hand that came in her direction. A moment of quality could well be decisive in this final 40 seconds. Good right left to the body from the woman in red. Right hand upstairs from Von Berger was blocked and Sechugova caught her with a right hook as she was looking to disengage. Good right hand picked by the woman in blue. Sechugova tried to respond with a southpaw right, but she did get through with that southpaw left. Again, as Von Berger was looking to back up. Left right not too far away from the woman in blue. And this time on a disengagement, it's Von Berger who scored. It was a lead left hand. So both boxers really giving it all in pursuit of top spot on the podium. A brilliant final to watch between boxers of contrasting styles. I happen to think that Von Berger, the woman in blue, has done enough. But what say the five scoring judges prior to that? What say you, Andy Clark, with that final now in the book? I agree. I agree. I think she has done enough. I thought the closest round was the second round. I could see a case for Satugava in the second round, although I thought Berger just shaded it. I thought rounds one and three were pretty straightforward, quite easy to score. And I would give all three rounds on balance to to Von Berger. He's got some great skills, hasn't she? She's got that length and got that reach, but holds those gloves low down by the waist, which always makes your opponent think that they're in with a chance, but it's difficult to close the gap on her. She's just a good, good fighter, and the point off, I don't think will matter. The winner is Blue Corner, so Stephanie von, von Berger sinks to her knees in celebration. She wins it 
3-0 on the scorecards over Natalia Sechugova. The Russian boxer comes away with a fantastic championship silver. But the gold medalist and European under-22 champion is Stephanie Von Berger. The woman who came away with a 2019 European youth silver and a 2018 youth bronze now completes the